I'm going to show you today how to use the graphing calculators that we have here, TI-83s. I'm going to show you how to graph uh, and plot points in a relation so that you can see the graphing calculator plot the points. So obviously before what we've done is, uh, you know, and this is what you need to be able to do, is to draw a graph like this. Okay, this is a really, this is a really messy example, but you need to draw a graph and you need to have your uh, independent variable labeled properly, spaced properly if there's a scale, uh, the times and so on and uh, scales, and the points plotted as carefully and as accurately as possible. Okay? But the calculator can do this for you, so let us, um, uh, let's turn your calculator on, okay, on button down here. I'm going to go through step by step basically how to put, um, how to put points in. So we want to turn it on, all right, and we're going to uh, hit the stat button right here in the middle and you should have this screen show up. Yes? Okay, so everyone has a graphing calculator now. What you need to do is you hit the stat button right here. Stat. Okay? Stat. Everybody find that? All right. If you, if you get behind or you miss a step or if something's not working in your calculator, just go ahead and throw up your hand. Okay? We'll pause it and we'll help you with that. But what we need to do is get to this the list uh, menu. So hit uh, stat and then this edit is number one. Push enter. You should have a screen that looks like this. Okay. Now you might have numbers in your in one or more of your lists. What we need to do is we need to clear those lists. So listen very very carefully. I need you to push the cursor this one up so you're highlighting list one. Do not press delete, please. Do not press delete. What you want to press is clear, okay? Clear, and then enter, and then all the numbers should go, all right? So some of you may not have a list one anymore because somebody has deleted that list one and not cleared it. So if you don't have a list one, that is okay. If you have a list four and that's the first one you have, fine. You could try to go back like this to see if you have a list one. All right, so now this is where we're going to put our X and Y values for the points we're going to plot. So write this down in your in your notes. Let's let's take one for example here. Okay. So let's say here's an X and Y. Okay. So let's do one, two, three, four, five. And over here, let's do um, three, four, seven, twelve, and nineteen. Okay. Um. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to treat one of these lists as the X list. Okay, it doesn't matter which one. We'll 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 figure more stuff out later. It, it doesn't matter if it's list one or list three or four or whatever. Usually, the one on the left is going to be the X, and just one to the right of it's going to be Y. So what you do is you just go ahead and press one right here and enter, and you should have one number one show up there. So then you go two, enter, three, enter, four, enter, five, enter. Okay. Uh, now cursor over to the right, just to get up to list two there, and then start entering these numbers as well. So three, enter, four, and so on. Seven, 12, and 19. All right. So you should have one, two, three, four, five numbers in each list. So if you go up and highlight this number 19 right here, okay, it should say, see, list two with a bracket of a five in there. So that's your fifth item, uh, your fifth element in the list, and four and three and so on. Okay, so you need to have the same number of each. So we've got these in here. So what we want to do is we want to tell the calculator that this is our X list right here and this is our Y list. Okay. So we're gonna um, we're gonna go to a second function Y equal. You see the stat plots there. You see that right there. Now all of your stat plots are probably off right now. Okay. So what you want to do is just a number one there. Hit enter so that you get into this screen right here. Okay. Now mine is turned on. I've already turned mine on. But what you want to do is hit enter when the cursor is blinking on on to turn your plot on. Okay. Everybody there? Okay. 
Yeah, questions? Once you get here, what you're going to notice is that uh, you've already turned this on. So th this section is the type. Okay, so we're just going to do this type here, which is just the points, okay, individual points. So if that's highlighted, that's great. We're going to go down, that's highlighted. If it's not, hit enter, so that is highlighted. The next thing we're going to look at is your X list. So remember, we want to tell the calculator that this particular list of numbers is our X list. So if you go back to stat, enter, okay, what list were these numbers in for you? For me, it's list 1. So X is list 1 and Y is list 2 for me on my calculator. But you need to check to see what your list numbers are. So now we go to second function, plot, enter, go down. This must say list 1. If this says list 3 or 4 or something that's incorrect, what you need to do is you need to go second function. And if you want to say list 1, you see how list 1 is above number 1 there? So list 1. So second function 1. And you can tell the calculator which list to draw the x values from. Okay, everybody good? All right. Okay, so now y list is list 2. If that needs to be changed, you can go ahead and change that the same way. Second function, 2. Okay, whoops, second function, 2. All right, so the mark here. Now the mark, we're just going to use this uh, little, little uh, square here. That's fine. Um, just leave it on this one. All right, so this is what you want your screen here to look like. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to change the window. Go to the window. Now if we were to plot this manually, it looks like the x values are all in the positive direction, right? So the x values would be from 0 to maybe 5, right? So let's, let's say 0 to, let's say this is going to be 6. So I can put all of my numbers on there, 1 to 5. This one goes from 3 to 19. So let's make this 0 and let's make this 20. How about that? So how do we do that on the calculator? Well, see, on this window screen, we're going to say the x values, I want to go from a minimum of 0. So x min, 0. Enter. x max, let's make it 6. Okay. So again, this is on your window button right here. Just hit window and you get to the screen. The x, the x scale, just leave it as 1. That's just the, the, where the little markers are on the x-axis. So now the y minimum, that's the vertical axis, let's go y minimum to 0. And the y maximum, let's make that 20. And mine's already 20, so just type in 20. Okay. So does everybody have this screen set out like that there now? Yeah? Okay. All right, so now we'll graph. So now hit graph right here, this button right here. And you should have your graph looking just like this. Hey, cool, hey? Calculator does that pretty quick, I guess. Does yours look like that? No. No? Okay, so a couple questions here. Uh, grade uh, tens, listen to this. If you, have, if you have anything here, like if you have y equals something, if you have a graph here, you need to clear it. Okay, so if you have something here, just hit clear. Go down, hit clear. So clear, all these have to be cleared. And their plots have to be on. Remember back here, second function y equals, this plot needs to be on. And it'll show you, see, this type of graph, list 1 is x, list 2 is y, and this is the marker. So this one should be on. If it's not on, hit enter. And maybe yours is off. Maybe yours looks like this. You've got to go over and highlight on, turn it on. And then with the window setting, you should look like this. Has everyone's graph looked like this here yet? Okay, so to check the points, okay, watch this, hit trace, hit this trace button right here. Just push the trace button. And then you'll see the, the cursor will highlight uh, a point. So this one, my cursor's on 1, 3. That happens to be the first point, 1, 3. If you move the cursor to the right, it should pop over to the next point, 2, 4. And see, that's the next point. And this should be 3, 7, 4, 12, and 5, 19. So the graphing calculator can graph points for you, um, and you can do some stuff with the graphing calculator. Now what you'd want to do then is you would want to, this, this would be done to maybe double check that you've graphed, because in, in your quizzes and tests and stuff, you'll still need to be able to graph this manually. But 
your calculator can help you to see if you've sort of graphed this properly. Uh, and you can do other things with it as well. So this is how to plot points and how to just show that on your calculator screen. Okay? So one other thing, guys, that you can check here, you should be able to see this from your, your table of values as well. But you can also see what your domain and value, uh, domain and range values are. So you've got 19, 12 for range, 7, 4, 3, uh, and so on. So that's these numbers here. Okay? So domain and range.